Ever since the new Realm Reaver came to be in Realm of the Mad God, maxing has become so much easier than usual. One of the new strategies is called the Beacon Strat. Now I didn't find this out, but it's a method I like to use to max my characters. Today, I will teach you how to do it, how to maximize it, and what my overall strategy is. There will be timestamps for each chapter. By the way, please subscribe, I'm so near my goal, thank you and enjoy. So what is beacon farming? Well, the idea is to just find realms and servers with little to no beacons. You can also go for realms which is about to close, around 100%. The near, the better. Now once you find a realm, you will see that there are three beacon colors. Light blue, blue, and dark blue. The light blue beacons don't drop loot. The blue beacons are generally what you want to grind for. They are e easy to rush and kill. The dark blue beacons have the best loot, but the rush is somewhat dangerous, and the bosses are really pesky to kill. So, what is the best way to maximize this grind? Well firstly, the best characters by far to do this would probably be the warrior and the rogue. Rogue because, well rogue, and warrior because of the infinite speed boost using the T0 ability huh? and its high DPS. But generally if you're new, rogue is the best as you can just turn invisible to rush and kill the bosses. It is also best to do this on a max character and just feed your other characters to maximize efficiency overall. Though it is possible to do this on a new character, albeit much harder. Here are the tips and tricks. When you are in the green death biomes, make sure to avoid these enemies as they will pop you. When rushing, it is best to toggle center character on so you can see enemies faster than they can see you. Most of the beacon bosses are easy as heck. However, the dark blue beacon bosses are somewhat scary and can punish you. So try to kill enemies around the beacons first so you can have no problem killing the boss. There is a big biome in the middle of the map called the Abandoned City. When you kill the boss that resides there, you will see 4 paths leading to the cardinal directions. It's a handy way of finding beacons which you haven't explored yet. And finally, here is a full beacon map which you can use in your adventure. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now before I end the video, I'd actually like to ask for your help. You see, I'm planning on creating this big video series regarding different MMO games such as Protopia, Pixel Worlds, Realm of the Mad God and such. Now it's not going to be a retrospective analysis because I don't want it to be opinionated and biased. That's one of the biggest problems with creators these days. They're too lazy, they don't want to engage with the community and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to engage with the community by making you voice out your own opinions by answering the survey down below. This survey will tackle the different problems of Realm of the Mad God as that will be the first episode of a long series tackling different games. And we're going to try and solve this problem together. So yeah, if you guys want to help and make Realm of the Mad God a better game than now, well, consider answering my survey down below. It will only take like a few minutes. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye.